What is up, Poke Peeps and Masters? This is Russ here, Poke Russ here, and we are back before your regular scheduled program to let you guys know about a new card game. Dragon Ball Z Super, actually the Dragon Ball Super card game. Uh, Dragon Ball actually sent out a thousand free half decks to a bunch of YouTubers and, and other people. You guys can sign up on their website. I'll leave the link down below. And I'm going to be opening up the half decks on the channel. Hopefully you can do some pack openings and deck analysis and all that kind of fun stuff on the channel. If you guys are hyped about it, let me know. Follow, give, give them a follow on Twitter. Because they are the amazing people who sent out these half decks. And I will be showing them to you soon. Um, check out the dbs-cardgame.com to check out. And maybe get your free half deck. Uh, find out more about their giveaways and the set coming out in late July. Get hyped, guys. And we'll see you in the vid. Later. What is up, Poke Peeps and Masters? This is Russ here, Poke Russ here, and we are back, back for another episode of the Pokemon Moon Egg Walk. If you guys are excited for this episode, don't forget to hit that like button down below and a subscribe. Would be awesome if you're not subscribed already. If you're here, you love Pokemon. This Pokemon channel is, yeah, it's Pokemon. This channel is all about Pokemon, Monster Hunter, Nintendo, Mario, Dragon Ball, Digimon? <laughs> I don't know. This channel is a lot about gaming, but we're going to jump right into this episode. We're going to jump right in here, actually. So in the last episode, I don't know if you, if you, if you saw it, but we uh, I think you should go back and watch it. So I think we'll be right up in there if I remember to put it up there. Ah, oh, that hobby of mine. He's good at fishing up pearls and heart skills, alright, but he doesn't get, have a lick of luck with it when it comes to Pokemon. But honey, I've heard I've heard you can catch up some rather rare findings if you cast your line over a pile of rocks and bubbles are up from them. Okay, so let's slip and slide back here. Wow, that's an island amulet, or challenge amulet. Sissy isn't here, but I think she's coming home soon. Play with us till Sissy comes home. Let's have a battle. Let's do a moldy battle. Um, it's not a multi -ba moldy battle. It's a multi battle. We'll have a multi battle. Yeah, yeah, that's what. That's, that's what I said. You ready, Mr. Trainer Guy? Uh, you're on. I'm gonna take down these two little brats and then face their sister, maybe. Oh, no, no. Twins Harper and Sarah. We got Corsola and Love Disc. Shouldn't be too, too difficult. Okay, so we're gonna go straight for the. Mega Drain onto the Corsola since it's four times super effective, and we'll go for the Thunder Punch onto that Love Disc. So in this episode, I think we're going to go visit the uh, weird guy from the Aether Foundation. Uh, go visit him at the hotel, which sounds very shady. But it's a Pokemon game, so I think we're going to be safe. Um, and see what happens there. Things are about to ensue. Um, if you guys watched my last series on Sun and Moon, hmm... Let's just say somebody coming up is a murderer, um, and hopefully he doesn't do what he did to the, our team last time. That's all I'm saying because I really don't, I really don't want to have a relive of that. I'd really love to beat this sun or this moon Nuzlocke. So right right now we're O and O and O because we've lost we we've, we've, we've O and one. We've lost one Nuzlocke that we played in Sun and Moon. Right now on the channel, I think we're three and three. We lost that. Lost that one. One. Lost one. We're two and two. We're two and two. We lost the Colosseum Nuzlocke. Spoilers. We won the Legend of Pokeros Nuzlocke in Platinum. Spoilers. Um, we lost the first Moon Nuzlocke. Spoilers. And Soul Link we won. Spoilers. And spoiler warning, we're about to win this one. I don't know if that's spoiler warning or not. Hopefully, hopefully we don't get ruined like we did last time. If you guys want to see how we got ruined last time, go check out the playlist for that Nuzlocke in my on my channel. Wowzers, you're really strong, Mr. Trainer Guy. You must be even stronger than Sissy. Oh, your sissy's Lana. We get to face Lana. I'm home, girls. Sissy! Welcome home. Oh, Pokeros, you came to visit us. Mr. Trainer Guy was playing with us. He's really strong. Did you know that? Well, thank you, Pokeros, for entertaining my little sister so kindly. 
Hey, sissy, sissy. Who's stronger? You or the trainer? Like, who's when, when you guys are really trying? Yeah, who? Well, I, well, I really don't know. Pokeros is definitely strong by himself. You want to know who's stronger? Battle him! Battle him! See who's stronger! Once you girls have your mind set to things, you won't budge, no matter how hard you try. Come on! Come on! Do it! Battle! Battle! If you don't mind, Pokeros, can I ask you for a battle? The truth is, I've been wanting to see how we compare in skill. Um, sure. Alright! We, we knew you'd do it! <laughs> Why don't we go up front, Pokeros? It wouldn't be... I would be in some advantage battling inside my own house, since I'm familiar with the layout. See, I like I like when characters say that, because like, if you look back at the manga, they do run around and battle and do that kind of stuff. And we even saw it, actually, in the beginning of Pokemon Black and White, how they kind of destroyed the house when they were battling. Show them what you got! Shall we? I'd be I'd have the responsibility to set a good example for me at my younger sisters, of course. But it is important that I ever have to defend my pride as a captain. I will show you that I'm serious. What serious Lana can do. I look forward to a no holds barred to battle you again, Pugger Russ. Okay, so we're facing Captain Lana. Sends out a chin chow. Max Jr.'s got this. Um, we're gonna go for a nice, um, Mega Drain here. He goes for a Thunder Wave. She goes for a Thunder Wave. Uh, my hair is god awful right now. I need, I need to get a cut. Um, there's a nice, nice Mega Drain there. We'll get one more off. Also, it's interesting that that Chincha moved before our, uh, Breloom. I don't like that. Because we weren't even paralyzed yet. There's another Mega Dream. No paralysis for us today. Um, but a full heal. So it's like they didn't even do anything to us other than paralyze us. Next is going to send in a Raquinid. We are going to switch out for a Raquinid. We are going to switch into Studs Girl. Yeah, we'll switch into Studs Girl here. We got a nice Thunder Punch going. Um, I cannot wait. Looking at our squad with the, um, with Studs Girl and Rakisha, I cannot wait to beat the next gym and to get the next, uh, Z Crystal. We're gonna go for a nice Thunder Punch. Oh, she's going for a Z move. I'd be worried, but a Raccoonid doesn't have the biggest. Well, depends on its ability. Let's see how much it does. Like, I'm not worried, but I'm worried, but I'm not worried. I even see its level. We're good. Okay. Uh, I should probably heal, though. Not gonna lie, I should probably heal. Okay, so there's Bubble Beam, we take those here. Actually, that did far more than I expected. We're gonna go for a Super Potion this time, because that Fresh Water, I forgot Fresh Water got nerfed in this gen, so... There's a Super Potion. There's the Bubble Beam. So I'm guessing this definitely has Water Bubble as its ability. Uh... Cause it's doing quite a lot of damage, even though it's attacking status kind of. There's a thunder punch. One more thunder punch should knock this thing out. I'm not even too worried. I'm just gonna go straight for the thunder punch. She uses a super potion. Okay, the damage is questionable. We're gonna have to heal one more time. Uh, we'll heal up Studs Girl here. Uh, 
I do enjoy Raquinid. Um, probably one of my one of my favorite new abilities in the game is Water Bubble. And its typing is really weird too. Like it's one of those typings that it's just like you kind of like. I feel like you have to think on the not like some are. Some mixed typings are just like, oh, I can use this against it. Like, boom. Real quick. Real simple. Boom. Boom. And you're like, bug water. Uh, okay, so it's resisted by this, but this gives it resistance by this, and this, and that, and oh yeah, water bubble, and... I mean, it's not on the same level. Like, you have like... Okay. You have like Corsola. Corsola is like a bam, grass. Out of the water. And I know what I use against it. It's, it's dual typing, whatever. Raquinid, you gotta do a little bit of thinking. You need this, this, maybe this. Uh, nothing's too, too great against it. Well, okay, blah, blah, blah. Um, then you have the level of thinking that you have to figure out how to successfully do a... Um, what's it called? The Halucha attack. When it's flying and fighting. I have never, 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 never. I have a I, I think I have a latch attached to Halucha in this LP, maybe. I don't know. But anyway, I've never had the inclination to even Bulbapedia what that's super effective against. Uh, would you like to... Uh, who wants to learn Faint Attack? Um, yes. We'll teach teach it over Copycat. Nice Dark Attack is always good. Lana is about to send out Shelter. Um, I think we'll switch... We'll switch back out into Breloom. We're paralyzed, but I think we got this. Um, but yeah, what I'm trying to think of what that attack's called. What's Salucha's signature attack? Okay, Google. What's Halucha's signature attack? <laughs> Not what's Halucha's signature attack. Okay. No, I, I didn't want a list of Mucha Lucha characters. I love Google sometimes. Ha, Lucha. Flying Press, there we go. I don't know why I couldn't think of that. So are we, para or are we para confused right now? Uh, hopefully this doesn't hit. Okay, we're good, we're good. That's what I'm gonna do. Do damage at five. Well, unless it's skill link, then it might be questionable. There's three times. Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. Even if it's five times. It's still a lot of damage. And it is five times. I bet you that's skill link. Or she could just got really freaking lucky. And we hit ourselves in confusion. So we have to heal up here. Because we do not want to lose Breloom right now. I need all the Pokemon I can get to go into this next match. Okay, but yeah, flying press. I've never, I've never. Okay, we'll bubblepedia together. Like, I really like. To be honest, I've, I've never like really wanted to learn like what it's super effective against. I'm like, I am never gonna remember this. I'm never gonna want to figure this out. This seems like way too much math. Um, we are. In, we need to switch out Halucha, or we need to switch out Mac Junior because he's paralyzed. So he's going to be moving slower. Um, let's go into... Let's go into iPhone. No, I don't want to install a Paul P app. We're going to go into Flying Press. Okay, so it's, it's two times effective against... Normal, Grass, Ice, Fighting, and Dark. Um, it's normal against Water, Fire, Ground, Rock, Bug, Steel, and Dragon. Half effective against Fairy, Psychic, Flying, Poison, Electric, and has immunity from Ghost. Under Electrify... Okay, we're not, we're not even under Normalized. Oh my gentle Jesus. Yeah, but not gonna lie, never really wanted to learn that. We're just gonna blow the shelter back. We're gonna go for Hydro Vortex. Take it out with a nice Hydro Scald. Z scald, Z scaldidium. -E 
I believe either this week or next week is when that video is going live. I have a, I have a scheduled, I need to figure out when it's scheduled for, um, when that Dragon Ball Z opening pack is, uh, or the demo pack opening is. Pretty excited for that, like I said. Um, I know it's coming up, it's like a Wednesday it goes up, I don't know which Wednesday. I think it's actually the last Wednesday of the month, so I think it's this coming Wednesday, we're coming up right this Wednesday. So you'll see that in, you will see that plus this content, so don't worry about that. No way she lost, did she actually lost? That's amazing, Mr. Trainer Guy! Pokeross, you were fantastic, you and your Pokemon were perfectly in sync. It seems I was premature in thinking my full power was enough to defeat you. How boring, I can't even believe Sissy lost. Poo, I'm going home! Me too, give me a piggyback ride! Fine, fine, let's get going home. But I'm not carrying you, you can walk on your own two feet. What else do you have feet for? Like, I know they threw the feet thing in there because... Water, mermaid... So we got a muscle band. Got a muscle band from Miss Lana. So she lives all the way... <laughs> the way Lana looked in the battle seemed like lingers in your mind. Okay. Um. I hope... Okay, so... Ultra Sun and Moon is coming out for... The 3DS in... November. So, one thing I liked about... Um... Everybody compares this game a lot to Black and White 2, even though we don't know if it's a sequel or a just an alternate storyline. Um, but I feel like there is some... Either way, I feel like they have an option to do what they did with Black and White in Black and White 2. In Black and White 2, if you had uh, information from your Black and White game uh, in the system, then... Um, I don't even know why I went in here. Um... You could go catch Z, or no, not Z's, N's Pokemon, which I thought was really, really freaking hype. So we're going to fly back to the city here. We're going to head over to the Hano Beach, which we do get another encounter there, so I'm pretty excited about that. We'll probably save that, we'll probably save that hatch um, for the next episode. Uh, because in the next episode, we should be getting a handful of hatches. So we're going to sneak across here, go into this Hano Beach. And let's go get our encounter before we go and meet this old man. Nope, that's not the way I want to go. I want to go this way. Okay, so there is, I believe there's four Pokemon sitting over here? Yep, oh, there's this. So this is our encounter for the Hano Beach Resort. It's a star you, which is, I think that's what we got last time, actually. Actually, actually, actually. I kind of wanted the uh, Sand Gasty, but we ended up getting a star you. Do I have any Quick Balls? Do I buy any Quick Balls? Yes, I have Quick Balls. So... I was told I should probably be YOLO, ball YOLO balling this, of course, on the first turn. Since I'm throwing Ultra Balls anyway, might as well uh, throw that Quick Ball. One. Two. Three. Hashtag triple freaking jiggle! Okay. So we got the Star U. Star U is going to go back to our box. Let's see what kind of Pokemon we got. This Pokemon's nimble gets nibbled on by Lumineon and others, thanks to its red core, it regenerates fast, so it's unconscious w by their snack attacks. Huh. Oh, it's unconcerned. Wow, it's unconcerned by its snack attacks. I wonder what a star you taste like. Like I, I always pictured a star you as like this hard, like metal uh, Pokemon. To be honest, like I like I've that's why I've always pictured it as like a me, like a, basically like a metal starfish, because it does have that core. Um, it's interesting to think that's edible. Hmm. 
Did we heal up? Did we heal up? Please tell me we healed, healed up. We did. And we're gonna put... We're gonna put Rakisha in the first slot. Ah! So you've come. Ah, forgive me. I haven't yet introduced myself. Please, call me Vaba. I have told you before that you showed in some that I would show you some place astounding, right? Well, that place would be the wonderful Aether Paradise. Tell me. Let me tell you about the Aether Paradise. As the name suggests, the Aether Paradise is a verse a virtual vertible paradise for Pokemon that floats far out in the sea surrounding Alola. It's an artificial island made entirely by human technology for the protection of Pokemon. Of course, I am an adult who keeps his promises, so I will prove to you that what I have told you is absolutely true with a tour, a tour, I tell you, of the Aether Paradise. Won't you come in, won't you? Good, good. Then you should come with me to the Age of Paradise and I'll amaze you. Hey, wait for me too! Why, why did I give up this voice all of a sudden? Why is my rival Tristan? Uh, you know what? I'm cool with it. I'm gonna give him. Hey, wait for me too! Oh! Even Olivia wants to come see your send off. As a Kahuna, I look up to the trial goers of the island as they were my own children. Not that I have any. I've never even gotten married. Just, just throwing that out there. Listen up, you two. Uh, the greatest opponent is always yourself. Your greatest ally is the Pokemon beside you. Thanks! Are you coming too, Professor? I've got my own business to attend. I've got my own business to... I've got my own business to attend to. So you, you've got to see the amazing tech on the Aether developing? Please tell me about it later. Ah, that's right. See you on the next island. Ula Ula Island. Let's meet up at the Melee Garden. Yeah, goodbye, Kala Island. I guess we can come back anytime we want to, huh? Ah, let's uh, let's enjoy the let us joy. I lost my voice there. Let us enjoy the adventure upon the grand vessel as we take it across the sea. By which I mean the ferry. <laughs> okay. Can you believe this hunk of iron, like, like an iron? Can you believe the hunk of iron, like the Aether Paradise, can float in the sea? Is it because Pokemon are holding it up? Did you? It's what Pokemon are holding it up? Is it Corsola? Is there actually po Pokemon holding it up? Cause that'd be sad. Like, if all the Pokemon were to do is just hold that, that uh, the island up. So we're heading over to the Aether Paradise. Here we are, you two. This is the Aether Foundation. The Aether Paradise. The Aether Paradise is a facility created for the conservation of Pokémon. It has been outfitted with the latest technologies for that purpose. Downstairs, our team is working on developing a new Pokeball and more. Yes, for our sake, for the sake of Pokemon conservation. Ah, though you will not be able to use any of your Pokeballs in the Aether Foundation. There's a jamming signal broadcasting throughout the facility, preventing them from functioning. I I enjoy that, but they instantly go back against it because we have to battle with Nihilego. Like, excuse me, Miss Mister Faba. Excuse you? 
What do you mean by that form of address? I have a title for a reason. How will anybody know how important I am? Yes, uh, branch manager Faba, um... Now, I must go speak to the president about the conservation efforts in Akala. Show these children around and take them to meet the president as well. Well, uh, we could just get on the thing since we're all heading to the same place to meet the president. Um, uh, or, or, we could wait for the next one. Um, okay, um, well, hello. <laughs> Welcome to the Eighth of Paradise, Pokerus and Hal. My name is Wick. Wait, how do you know who we are? How did you know that? One of my employees told you about your meeting on the island. And of course, we knew how help helped to protect the Pokemon there, too, young Hal. Thank you very, very much. Let me show you around. The main entrance is above us. Shall we zip right up there? This is the main entrance. You can have your Pokemon taken care of at the reception desk if you need it. Pokeras, you and Hal are both trial goers, aren't you? Are you hoping to become champions? I suppose we must go to round. We must. You must go around eleven then. Oh, we are around eleven. The our, our age. Yeah. I took, like, reverse pants to join the Alley Challenge once I turned 11, because someday I really want to be able to beat Grants and become strong, too. Oh, how lovely for you. I hate your voice, but it's nice to hear you have a dream. Though, you hardly aren't children anymore. Trainers are like parents to their Pokemon. How, Pokeros, would you like to see the conv convention? Upstairs. Conservation. Aether Paradise is a safe haven for all Pokemon. For this reason, the use of Pokeballs is strictly forbidden in the conservation area. Wow! Whoa! We keep Pokemon that have been targeted by Team Skull here. We use it to try to support Pokemon with little, very little protection, like Corsola, for example. They are overhunted by a Pokemon called Toxapex. We hope that you'll be able to find passage, read the passage from its Pokedex. Toxapex. Toxapex crawling along the ocean floors has 12, well, it has 12 legs. It leaves a trail of Corsola bits scattered in its wake. Yeah, my gramps always told me nature has a, got a cool side, Sh sure g as it gives blessings. But for the ancient Aether Foundation to really protect Pokemon all the way out here? Nature does have its own balances, of course. It can be difficult to judge just how much we humans affected, can't we? That's pretty amazing. The Aether Foundation seems awesome. But why do you bother setting up a branch in a place like Alola? I couldn't say. It's hard to know what our president is thinking sometimes. If you want to meet President, President Lusamine, she should be around the conservation area somewhere. Okay, but this is actually where we're going to save the game, and I will pick it up in the next episode. We're going to see what happens at the Aether Foundation and take on that grueling battle. I've been, like, forewarning you this is going to happen for the last, uh, this whole last episode. But I will see you guys in the next episode. If you guys like this kind of content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I will see you guys bright and early Monday. By bright and early, I mean, like... In the afternoon Monday. I will see you guys in the afternoon Monday. Uh, don't forget to check out more ARMS content. I'm super hyped about that. Um, I don't actually know what I'm going to put on, on the channel tomorrow. But we're going to have some kind of gaming content on the channel tomorrow. I will see you then. Have a great day. Pokeros. Out.